to Central Craft Channel and today I'm going to be continue from where I stopped. You remember the last class? In the last class I just did some kind of intro into women's world and I'm finding it interesting. So today I'm going to start with what I call the African Female Native Court which is tagged Iro and Buba. Iro and Buba. I'm going to show you how to cut and how to sew Iro and Buba. And this specific uh, one that I want to teach you today is what we call in Nigeria the Oleku style of Iro and Buba. There is this swag that is added to it and I kind of love it when I see it on females, you know, that short sleeve and, and some nice taking. Without wasting time, I would just want us to jump to the uh, board so that you see the specific measurement that is needed for this your hero and boba. And I tell you, if you're a first timer in fashion, hero and boba is where you should just start from. It is the easiest of all designs. Let's go. Okay, so without wasting much time, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew the traditional hero and boba, the whole cool style or the whole cool way. And the measurement uh, parameters I'm going to be using, I'm going to be combining both for adults and for children. This is based on the comment uh, uh, requests coming from some persons on my walls that they want to know how to sew for children uh, too. Okay, so based on this we have the boba length. The boba length we are using for adults, I'm using uh, this for my wife and then this uh, baby measurement is for my daughter. Okay, for the buba length for adults, it's 25 and a half inch inches that I'm going to be using. And for my baby, I'm going to be using buba length 17. Then the sleeve length is 18 for adults that I'm using. And while I'm using uh, 12 for my daughter. Then for the round sleeve, I'm using 18 for adults while I'm using 12 uh, for my daughter. You can, it depends on how wide you want the buba mount to be. And mind you, I'm this kind of uh, fitted person. I love it when it's fitted or leku. Then you have uh, the hips or the bust. Now, what actually determines the uh, what you will use? Either is the hips or the bust. In this uh, hero and buba for female, all you just need to consider is the biggest part of the measurement. If it's the hips that is larger, uh, that is bigger than every part of the other measurement that is needed then use the hips. If it's the bust that is well uh, loaded, then you should use the bust size then. So in this case, I'm going to be using either uh, hips, I'm going to be using hips 42 for the adults and hips 22 for my daughter. Okay, the next is the neck cut. The neck cut. The neck cut I'm going to be using for adults here. Please just take note of this. It depends on how much of a wideness and deepness that you want. For those that don't actually like uh, the, uh, the neck of the buba to be too wide, you can use three and a half or four or four inches. Uh, okay, so, but for this uh, particular sample that I'm creating, I'm using five inch wideness and the depth is going to be like four. Or I can even use three and a half because uh, uh, the person might really not want it to be so deep and exposing. Uh, some sensitive part of the body. Then for the baby, I can use three inches wideness while the, the deepness is going to be like uh, two one quarter or two and a half, depending on how wide you want it. But let me just uh, quickly state this that all that you want to do in fashion, especially those that are new to fashion, I tell you to start your sewing class, you need to start with Iro and Boba. Because this will help you in straightening your hands on the machine and, uh, and the likes. And because this is the basic. What <laughs> to sew Hiro and Buba is just to combine three rectangles together. You can imagine the two ends, the two sleeves. The two sleeves are the two rectangles there. Then the main body is what is the third rectangle. So it's just rectangles that you are combining. To get this African <laughs> African design called Iro and Buba, or if you like, you can call it the Oleku style of of this present age. So, without wasting time, let's just get to the cutting table while we cut it out. And from what you can see, the sleeve width, the body, and the neck. These, these are just the simple parameters you need to get it done. So, let's just get started now. 
Okay, since we have we've already seen the measurement on the board, then you should just take note of this. When you're measuring, to take those measurements that you've seen on the board, when you are measuring for Buba, it's unlike the normal uh, cut that we've been doing all the while. To measure for Buba, the, especially the sleeve, you have to measure, you don't measure the sleeve of Buba from here, no. You measure it from the center of the back, center of the neck. Hmm? You measure it, you see, you see the bone there. So, you measure it from the center of the neck down to, this is how you measure the sleeve of the bow, to where you want the, uh, the length of the sleeve, the Buba sleeve to be. And because you are measuring from ear to ear, that means that something is going to happen. The remaining rectangle, you know I told you that it's three rectangles that we are basically working with when we are uh, sewing at the African uh, traditional buba. The first strip, uh, rectangle is the sleeve, the two sleeve, then the third rectangle is the main body. So all you just need to note is that, so all you just need to know is that once you have measured from the center of your neck to where the sleeve is, the body the main body of the buba. By the time you subtract the main bodies of the buba from this shoulder, what you have remaining will be the sleeve rather, not shoulder. From this sleeve, what you have remaining is what you are going to work with. Let me explain that on the table so that you understand. Please kindly take note of this fact that when you want to sew an hero and, uh, an hero and buba for an adult, you need up to about four, between four to five years to make this, depending on the size of the customer you are sewing for, and also depending on whether the customer just needed the hero and the buba without the edge yet, or what we call gele. But when there is need for the gele and whatever they call it elsewhere, you just need like maybe over four years to do that. Then depending on body size and other stuff, but within the neighborhood of five years, you should be home and dry with your complete hero, buba, and the scarf that goes along with it. So let's just jump right in. Okay, please kindly note that the first thing to do uh, while cutting out your Ankara, um, while cutting out your hero and buba pattern for this oleku is to fold lengthwise first. Once you fold lengthwise, just take your fabric, fold it into two. Once you have it folded into two this way, this is the lengthy part of it. The next thing to do is to fold it because if we want to cut on four fold. The next thing to do is what? Fold it breadthwise. And get achieve your center there. If you are working on fabric directly, at this point you need to iron this part out. Why? Because this point when you have the close end of your fabric is usually going to be where you are going to get your neck cut out from is unlike this part that is open-ended this part that is open-ended you remember in the last course i told you that this open-ended is always used for sleeve but this close-ended part is for your what for your neck so once you have this the next thing you should be talking about is what? The length of your buba. Once you have this as your neck, let's just walk this way so that this part will be where we are going to cut out the sleeve from. This is the neck. This is the neckline of your buba. So, if this is the neckline cut position for your buba, then that means that we really need to know the length of that buba. What is the length of the buba from measurement that we have on the board? Uh, remember, I told you that my baby's uh, buba length measurement is 17. 
and this is 17 here but you are not going to cut this is 17 here but you are not going to cut exactly on that 17 you are not going to cut exactly on that 17 because below below the base of your boba you need to fold in you need to do some turning in there so you have to create allowance for that turning in so i'm just going to work with uh, normally you should add like one and a half inches for the downward turn up but because this my uh, pattern paper is not uh, long enough i will just uh, work with the uh, one and quarter that i have here so with that, that means I'm saying so that technically means that this length is okay for my booba cut. Then the next thing I should consider is what the neck cut. Now to have the neck cut, what am I working with? Remember, we already stated it on board that the width of that neck is going to be what the width of the neck is five. Remember I told you that for adults, the neck measurement is the width, the breadth of that neck is going to be 5, that is 5 inches wide and it's going to go down depending on how the customer wants it, whether uh, for those that do not like uh, their cleavage to be showing, they will go with like 3.5 or 4 inches down. But those that love wide, very uh, wide neck, some of them go as much as down to five. But uh, for this, my little baby, remember I told you that the wideness I'm going to use here is just going to be three. The wideness I'm going to use here is going to be three. Or I can go with uh, 3.5 can go with 3.5 so that it can enter her with her edu okay I can go with 3.5 so but the depth I would like to go uh, with two and up I would just like to go by with two and up um, adding to my measurement based on the fact that I want a scenario that uh, I wouldn't want a scenario that the booba will not be able to enter into a neck so I'll just measure this downward to meet up with this uh, depth of the neck so I have this position here that means I've got in my neck remember what we are saying here is that the what we just got out from here is what the depth of the neck is uh, two and a half two and a half whereas the wideness of the neck is three and a half is what I'm using for my little baby so the next the, the next question we should ask ourselves is that what about the wideness of this booba? What what is the width of this booba? Remember, I told us that the largest part of my baby's measurement, the largest part of my baby's measurement, happens to be the hips, and the hips is twenty two. If the hips is 22, I will not cut exactly on 22. So I'm going to add like 5 to 6 inches. Some persons even go as much as adding 8 inches to their measurement to give them the booba circumference. But the booba circumference that I usually love is I love this fitted. I love most of my clothes uh, cut to be fitted. So for this, my baby. I'm just going to add 5 inches extra to get the booba circumference. Then I'm going to add 1 inch extra to take care of the what of the sewing allowance. So that means I'm 
at the end of the day, adding 6 to 22, which will automatically give me 28. So, 28 that is going to give me, if I divide that into four places, into four folds, what will get that give me? That will give me 7. So, what I will just do is to come here and measure 7. I will just measure 7 from here. So I'm going to measure 7. I will trace it down. I will trace this 7 that I'm measuring. I will trace it down to get a very straight line. So that I can cut out. So, with that being done, the next thing that I just need to do is to cut out my main, my first major rectangle. My first major rectangle needs to be cut out. So, immediately you have this cut out. Then the next thing to do is to cut out the neck pattern. It depends on you. Some <laughs> some persons can go with this box-like neck. I can decide to make it a box, a box-like uh, neck cut, and I can decide to make it the normal round neck cut. So I'm going with the normal round neck cut. So all I just need to do is this. So once I have this cut out this way, let me just tell us this. The next question you should be thinking of before opening this is that what about the sleeve fine well what about the sleeve the sleeve is very easy you remember that this is the point from the shoulder this is the point on the shoulder in Buba you don't slant there is nothing like uh, going down by this thing it's just a rectangular uh, shape combination so from this point you need to measure your arm hole the arm hole for adults that I, I I was working with on the board is 18. So you will divide that by 2 to give us 9. But for my little baby, her arm hole is just, uh, her round arm hole is just, uh, I think. But for my little baby, her arm hole is just like 12. So what I will be using here as arm hole is just going to be like six so what i'm going to do is to measure six from here six inches from here to here so i'll just mark that this is where i have my six inches so it is at this point that the sleeve we join in and mind you when you are joining in the sleeve when you are joining in the sleeve remember that i've already made extra provision extra allowance i've created extra allowance for my joint for my joining and uh, someone like me some persons can use one inch they can come in one inch but i will just work with half inch half inch 
have him join me for my what? For the sleeve that I'm going to add to this. You know, I'm bringing another rectangle to join to this. So the joining point might just be around this half inch. I can even, some can even do at uh, one quarter. But don't let us uh, talk too much on that aspect. But just look at the brilliance of Buba. Once you cut out this way, see what you are going to have. You are not getting any, there is no room for uh, joining uh, front and back. You are not having front and back separately. You are just arriving at a single cut. You are arriving at your perfect front and back. You can see this. You can see the brilliance of our traditional cut. You have this. So immediately you have this. The next thing you should just be talking about now is what? To insert your sleeve on both sides. So let's get started with that. Without wasting time, once you, you've gotten this part, you can just trace it to the back. You can just trace it to the back here and mark your point for the other side of the sleeve. I hope you understand what I've just done there. Okay, so that's the armhole for this side and the armhole for this side. So the next thing we'll work on now is our sleeve. But before you work on your sleeve, remember I told us that when measuring for Hiro and Buba, the sleeve length that you are measuring, you don't measure the sleeve length from uh, this in point. You are measuring your sleeve length. Please remember that I said that when measuring your uh, uh, Buba, you are not measuring from this shoulder point here. You are measuring from the center of the neck or the center of the back or what some persons call center back. Hmm? AB, across back, is the half of your across back that you are measuring from. So, what you have just done, remember I told you that my baby's... Uh, back my baby's uh, sleeve length is 12 my baby's if my baby's sleeve length is 12 and this is half of that measurement of that sleeve length then how many have we used out from the total sleeve length what i have here is seven what i have here is seven that automatically translates to out of 12 inches of my sleeve I've already used seven seven has already gone with my bodies okay so that is remaining how many that is going to remain five inches so all I just need to do is to get the five inches for my what for my hero and booba but remember that the five inches that is remaining you are not going to turn up out of these five inches so that's why you are going to add additional two inches additional two inches to this five inch measurement because that will be folded in that will be taken in as your what as your turn up so that leaves me with what the remaining part of my sleeve length is actually going to be seven inches seven inches but before you jump into your cutting do you remember that we are going to add, we are already taking half inch from here, isn't it? So if you are already taking half inch from here, and you are inserting this your sleeve into this main body, then you need to add that half inch that we have taken from here back to your sleeve. So it's just a simple logic. So at the end of the day, what I'm going to add is what seven and a half inches what i'm going to cut out as my sleeve length is going to be seven and a half inches by six inches so let's just go ahead so you already have your front and your back this way what you're just going to do fold You 
just measure you can just measure one force and use it to cut the, the other so we have seven and a half inches we have seven and a half inches here so you have your seven and a half inches this way and your sleeve length is seven and a half inches by your arm hole which is what six inches six inches so what you just do is to trace those points out so that you can connect a very straight line 6 inches Just connect the points. Just connect the points. So that is your second rectangle so you can see how interesting the traditional hero and boba is it's as simple as A and B and C center this is the center and this is where it's going to be joined just look at this. so this is where this rectangle is going to be joined to the major rectangle which is the body huh? you can see so the best you can do in terms of fabric is to notch is to notch this center to notch this center that is going to be the meeting point for the two and also most, uh, most times it's advisable if you are working with fabric to just quietly notch this part too so that you will know where your insertion point start from okay so once you have that in place you just use this hand to cut out the second hand which comes out perfectly but please take note if you are working with a pattern fabric make sure that you place the pattern well so that the pattern here will be symmetrical we agree with what we will have there All you just need to do is to use this one to cut out the other. So all you just need to do is to use false pattern, cut out the other. So you have your two rectangles here. One is for this side and the other is for this side 
So you have your two rectangles. So with that, your hero and Buba pattern is complete. Your hero and Buba pattern is complete. You just know that uh, what you now need to do is to get buyers and tape this neck inside. You understand? You tape the inside of this neck and at the end of the day your buyers will be lined up right here. Take it in. Then this uh, this is your sleeve here. You fold it by two inches. I'm going to take two inch inward. So just like so. I'm going to take two inches inward. With that you can already see that your whole eku, your whole eku star is coming out live and direct on paper. You will stay the same for this side. So without much ado, because I really want to guide us, I uh, want to introduce us to our sewing. I will not spend much, there is no need for me to cut out a pattern for hero. Hero is very easy. For an adult, you need just like two and a half uh, yards. You need like two and a half yards. So you can see how easy <laughs> the uh, the buba, the traditional buba cut is very easy to get out on pattern, and if this one is very easy, I hope nobody, I hope you are not there expecting me to use the paper pattern to cut out the hero. The hero is very easy. All you just need to do with the hero is to uh, the, an average adult use between. Two and a half yards to three yards to get their hero. Then this side of the hero, you take it in by two inches to this side. The other side, you take it in by two inches. Sepini. Or some can, that doesn't like to take that much. Some can even use just one, one inch. Just take it in round there, round there. That's it, you. You know what I'm talking about, man. You just carry it there, carry it there. But let me tell you this, that the normal width of the hero for any body is just for you to look at the waist of that your customer. The waist of your customer. You know that the normal waist of your customer, round, round waist of your customer. Imagine that I may, I may find baby in front of you, eh, teaching you this stuff. If my... If my uh, waist is 33, if you divide that 33 into 2, that means I have one for back, I have uh, half of that 33 at the back, half of that 33 at the front. That's like uh, 33 divided by 2 will give us 16 and half, 16 and half at the front, 16 and half at the back. So, but you know that the normal hero, one we overlap here, the other one we overlap here. That's like having like extra one and extra one. So it's like having four. It's like having half of your waist multiplied by four. So that will give you a perfect hero for any particular woman. But in the case that you are sewing and the fabric is not much, it's not much. Maybe sometimes you get all this uh, silky design that people want to use to get some nice zero and buba that they will tie at the front that will now look like wrap skates. And what you just do there is to uh, use the same fabric to pipe out, to pipe out uh, just like a bias or a rope. So you put the rope at the edge here, yeah? put the rope at the edge there. Yeah? So you now use that rope to tie it. So with that you arrive at that. So without wasting time, I will quietly want to just achieve this on my little bit this fabric so that you can all follow me while I'm sewing because you can sew on paper. Okay. Okay. 
So once you have your pattern cut out already, all you just need to do is to place your pattern on the reverse side of your fabric on the reverse side of your fabric and just do your pattern marking Once you have this cut out, you can just fold like so. You can just fold like so. Then you will see the you see the trade out portion here. So you can just cut this way so you have this already cut out for your van neck so you have this cut out for your van neck you have this already cut out. Remember I told us that you need to get this part ironed and pointed so that you know where the sleeve of your boba is going to connect to the resistance point. So at this point, you don't need to play with the presence of iron and I think I need to get one here now.
rectangle which is the body and the two supporting rectangles which are the sleeves and as you can see your boba cut is ready for my little baby for my little baby so what are we going to do just like uh, what I told you before that you will notch the edges just a little bit to show where the sleeves will join to the main body of the float notch this too next thing to do is to sew okay so what you just need is to get your bias your bias to take care of this part and this other part is to join the next thing is to join the slip together and that comes after these edges has been folded that comes after these edges has been folded you know that we added additional two inches for turn up for the sleeve of the of your hero and boba so that gives it that only cool stylish you know stylish cut you can imagine and this will come better when it is coming with some soft stoning you can imagine soft stoning then soft stoning at the neck also you can imagine how the world will be with fashion well done correct okay so what will just happen is that in the next video which is the continuation of this video i'll be showing you how to join in the next video i'll be showing you how to join the hero and boba in a very very lovely way and that will be the end of our hero and boba discussion okay i want to believe that uh, you've learned something from this i want to believe that you've learned something from this my sharp sharp hero and boba cutting from uh, what's it called from Capcom. <laughs> My sharp sharp you and Buba cutting right from the cardboard cut and all the paparazzi stuff that I've done and the transferring of it to the fabric. My dear, I'm sure you want to listen to me when I'm talking about how to sew. Please don't miss it. The next video you will see how to join this on the machine. Please, if you have watched this video and you find it interesting, give me a thumb up. And please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. And for those of you that have subscribed, please share my videos. Share these videos. I need like 1 million subscribers in Korea alone now. You people should share this thing. Yeah? Till then, just take good care of yourself. I remain my humble, most handsome looking young man from banking to fashion. Die of Thank you.